guys, big breaking news coming out. Millions across North America will witness this amazing prophetic event, Blood Moon, signs of the heavens. Alright, so it's going to happen this week. We have all the information, the time, the dates, everything. Alright, do me a favor. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get to the story. So a dramatic total lunar eclipse, lunar eclipse will turn the moon blood red for millions across North America overnight on March 13 through the 14. Now here are the best times to watch the show unfold. Now this is going to be an amazing, amazing day. And the reason why is because this week you're going to have the uh, Canada premiere, Doug Ford. He is coming this Thursday. And there's a possibility he might meet with U.S. President Donald Trump. Uh, and you guys already know, last time something like this happened was Zelensky, J.D. Vance, and Donald Trump in the Oval Office. And boy, oh boy, that thing was not good. Uh, that day was a prophetic sign of the heavens where seven planets aligned that day where uh, when uh, Donald, Vance, and Zelensky were in the Oval Office. And we're about to see something and uh, Canada is coming to the White House. You have uh, very important people. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Like I said, I do believe this is a prophetic event of Bible prophecy. Signs of the heavens are written in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 21. You have Mark, John, James, uh, Matthew. Very important uh, signs of the heavens. A total lunar eclipse will occur overnight on March 13, 2025, into the early hours of March the 14th, creating striking red blood moon for observers across North America. The lunar eclipse will reach its maximum phase, whereby the moon is fully obscured by Earth's deepest, darkest shadow, the umbra, at 2.59 a.m. Eastern Time, 6.59 GMT Time, on March the 14th. Totality. The period when the moon is completely engulfed in Earth shadow will last for approximately 65 minutes. The key viewing times across different time zones includes, here we go, Eastern Time, 2.26 a.m., 3.31 a.m., March the 14th. Mark that on your calendar. Central Time, CT, once again, 1.26 a.m., 2.31 a.m., March the 14th. Mountain Time, 12.26 a.m., 1.31 a.m., March the 14th. And Pacific Time, 11.26 p.m., March 13th, and 12.31 a.m., March the 14th. This link will be in my description box if you guys want to check out the news article. Alaska. Alaska time, 10.26 p.m., 11.31 p.m., March the 13th. Hawaii time, 8.26 p.m., 9.31 p.m., March the 13th. Amazing times so of Bible prophecy. We are definitely witnessing nation against nations, tariff war. Again, you have all these other wars, the Middle East, Israel, Hamas, Hezbollah, Iran, Syria. You, again, you have Yemen. Yemen said they're going to strike some ship out there in the Red Sea. Uh, you got Russia, Ukraine. You got the Europeans, NATO, the U.S. I mean, you got so many things going on. At the same time, we are definitely seeing amazing times of signs of the heavens. And uh, again, this is uh, the sign that Jesus said to look out for. Always be prepared. Look out for these signs. Look at this one. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, let's close that. There we go. All right, so that's the time frame there, the dates. Why does it keep pausing? Wow. You see that? Hmm. Almost 40% of the world's population lives in an area where at least some portion of the penumbral phase of the eclipse will be visible according to time and date. 
to see what phases of the eclipse are visible from your location and at what time check out these resources from time and date. If you're unable to catch a lunar eclipse in person, we'll be live streaming the event. So they're going to have the live stream. So I will share this link in my description box. What to expect? Well, the total lunar eclipse begins as the moon enters Earth. Uh, Prenable shadow causing a subtle shading effect. As it moves deeper into the umbra, a dark shadow will creep across the lunar surface, eventually during totality, uh, turning into a reddish-orange hue, often called a blood moon. The exact color depends on Earth atmospheric condition. For observers in the Pacific, the moon will be high in the sky during totality, making it an ideal event for sky-watching gatherings. Meanwhile, in Europe, in Africa, the eclipse will be visible before moonset at dawn. The moon always makes for an interesting sky watching and photographing targets, especially during a lunar eclipse. If you're looking for some advice on how to capture a perfect lunar eclipse photo, our guide on how to photograph a lunar eclipse may help. All right, so give me a second here. I'm just going to skip some of this stuff here. All right, so basically done with this this one here. So make sure you guys check the uh, weather forecast because there's a possibility this might impact some states due to rain shower, dark clouds in a way and stuff like that. So um, again, we are going to see another sign of the heaven. Two weeks ago, we see, again, we heard about the planets aligning. Now this week is going to be the blood moon. Amazing times of Bible prophecy. And at the same time, today there was a huge announcement. Ceasefire. All right. In Saudi Arabia, the U.S. and Ukraine agree on a ceasefire. Now it has to go to Russia. And Russia is like, um, yeah, we don't like this here. You guys want to give a ceasefire? We don't want ceasefire. Number two, that will give Ukraine extra time to gain more equipments and weapons. And we don't want that. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's not looking good, guys. This week is going to be huge. So buckle up. This link, again, will be in the description box. And no, the world is not going to end. This not, Again, the world is not going to end. I know there's some people out there making videos of it. It's always like that, guys. People do those type of stuff to get views and deceive many people. It's just disgusting. Uh, people really need to stop that nonsense. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For it's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.